Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to our Forming Portugal Let's Play here in Crusader Kings 3 as we open up in our dynasty tree. We recently had a new grandson who we became the guardian of. Very happy about this grandson as he is the first in our dynasty, our house. As our other grandchildren are from our daughter who we married to the king of West Francia. Totally fine, I don't mind them being in other dynasties here. Uh, it's part of the plan to get our daughter a queen title, but our second son's new son uh, is our prize uh, and joy because he's named after us. We didn't even influence this. He's just straight up named after us and he has so many good claims. Look at these kingdom claims that he has based on his birth and we're able to become his guardian and we'll treat him very nicely as there are some other family matters we can attend to. We recently invited our nephew to join us as he does have an interesting trait, intelligent. We got him a marriage set up here with a decent dynasty and hopefully they will have great kids as options in our household in the future. And we notice we have this niece as well. So even though our brothers are really far from us, actually he's got closer where we can actually invite him over, but he's already married. I just want his kid. So perhaps we can invite her to our court and use her as a potential marriage for alliance or whatnot. And then we also have our dear sister here who married our vassal and had these kids, which is a nice thing, I guess, since they are slightly related to us and we're not going to do any bad things to him, he can be our vassal, he can control uh, basically the land of Portugal, and that's okay. But this is our small dynasty so far. Pretty happy with it. We can't do very much with our grandson right now. He's too young. He's only one. I can't make him start studying languages and such, but we're happy to have him as a guest in our court, and maybe we'll even gift him an artifact like this that's breaking. It's a toy, so... He will like it. We're not using it. So let's give it to him. And there's other family matters to take care of as well. I'm pretty confident that we will survive to Nile 3. I don't think we'll suddenly die. Our health is okay. And our stress is okay as well. There's that backup cheese as well we can use. And that means we can finish our war and form Portugal. That's the key. And if that's going to happen, I think it's time to ask our youngest son to take the vow. Even though old Pope here is not dying, it's okay. We'll spend some piety and make him into a monk. That way we take him off the inheritance. So you got five opinions for taking a toy from us. That's okay as long as you like us. And our youngest son has become a monk, may not inherit titles, may not marry. Poor kid. Um, I don't know how his mother feels about it, because he's the only son from our new wife, our second wife. She's not particularly faithful. But maybe that's the son, you know, that's why he turned to faith. Ooh. That was quick. That was very quick. I mean, the fact that she's married to someone who is English means we should have her learn that language. Does it have to be someone? Hold on, we got to pause. Does it have to be someone from our court? Wait, what finished? Oh, we finished converting the faith. Good for us. Hmm, she can't just go out and target anyone. Not quite what we want her to learn, but I don't think we have an Anglo-Saxon in our court. We can try to get her one just to have her learn a language. Give us a second. We have a new niece who I originally wanted to use for 
a potential political marriage. Right? Alliance feels like something that's very useful. I guess our daughter doesn't need to learn that language just yet. We can learn something else. I wonder how many she can learn. She has 10 learning, so I'm assuming she can learn three, just like us. One base plus two extra for each five points. Hmm. Maybe she can learn... F oh, she did she just learn... No, she learned something else. She did not learn French. Go for it. Your sister is married there. Who knows? Maybe one day you need to run away over there. Alright, what are we doing? We already- oh, this is forming a new guardianship. Alright, so what did we miss while this is going on? We missed the bishop converting the faith, which is great. We have a couple more to convert. And let's see, our control is picking up. That's good. I think that's pretty much all we need to do. Did he get 50? Yes, he did. We'll take that payment now. Our daughter's still very poor. We're waiting for the truth to end. March of 903. Ooh, the hook got us five points to hostility. We gotta watch out. It's cutting it close. We gotta stop doing stuff. Um, we don't need money. We have cash. We want to possibly save that money. I think we need 300 to create the kingdom title decision. So we'll wait on that. What was it that I'm trying to do? Oh, I'm trying to check out the new split. Because obviously now he gets two duchies. Okay, that makes sense. So he picks up the little one plus water cow. We keep Coimba. We keep Galatia, and probably we'll keep Baya once we pick it up as well. Uh, the goal is that he will die once this treatment ends, or maybe he gets saved, but we're making him single so that he will never have a kid. So when he dies of whatever cause, our second son takes over as the sole king of Portugal and Astorius. All right, so now it's all about checking out the health of our son and the war that will resume once this is ready. All right, we can lose pretty much all our stress. We just have to pay for it, which I think we will. I imagine when our son dies, we'll be pretty sad. Telling a beast, you would think it's a creature from myth, perhaps a god disguised in human form, largest boar ever seen, even after the beast was wounded and chased less half a day. So we killed it. Wow, good start. We can get a trophy. Or give it to our daughter, who already loves us. We'll take the trophy. Prestige is not gaining very fast, so we'll be careful there. Does that impact? No, it doesn't impact any of the phases. Returning from the wall, is that it? Do we get our... Okay, good. I mean, everything is gone in terms of stress. So that's a great reset there. Every five years, one hunt. At least we have the money for it. Okay, I think May 7th is the date that our son's health bonus ends. Crop of new ideas. Foreign ruler. Okay, and he... We have a new crop. Rice. Okay. So we can pay him to give our capital extra development, cheaper building costs, public opinion. Diplomacy challenge, where we can just gain without paying him. Send an agent for intrigue challenge. 20 years, 20 years, 20 years. 
Okay, so... If it's a diplomacy challenge, our wife can help. It's not entirely safe. Maybe we just pay up. We'll just pay up. It's only two months worth of income to us. And we'll give our county here rice field, which means we can probably build something. The only thing we can upgrade is this. I guess we do upgrade it. The war is in a year. Which means we'll make plenty of money to get the 300 we need. And we get the cheaper construction costs. Let's just get that done. Alright, the control is going really well. Like, really, really well. Looks like they're in a war. Fighting their neighbor. Right, for this piece of land, I believe. I hope they lose. It looks like they're losing, so that's good. We have learned English. Does this mean our daughter can learn this from us? So we can do a diplomacy challenge here for a little bit of extra opinion and possible friendship. Not sure if this is worth it. 81%. He's quite old. That's the only thing I'm thinking about. I mean, if we insult him and get a rivalry, I guess the drawback isn't so bad either. 80-20, let's go. We got the positive, thanks to our wife. There we go. And maybe you'll become friends. Ooh, we leveled up our piety, which I believe gives us just opinions by the clergy. Yes. Okay, nothing too insane here, but I guess he likes us enough that I can get 522 gold from him. We will do this. Still poor. Alright, I think that's a great trade. Oh my oldest son. Is it May? It's not even May yet. It's not even May yet. He's going to lose this and he's also suffering from smallpox. So we have a really good doctor, but we can deny treatment. Wow. Wow. This has worked very well to our plan. I'm not so into killing our son. I'm going to let him decide. I'm not going to straight up tell him no. I'm going to let my son decide if he wants to get saved or not. He's a stubborn boy. He might just deny Ambitious, brave, stubborn. What do you think you'll pick? It's up to him. It's only May 6th now? Interesting. We haven't done this in a while because we have some decent night. I don't think we need to spend money to get another one. Like if we look at our knights, we have three member over 20. And a lot of people with really good traits, so. I'm curious what our son will do. It's getting closer to a thousand. We gotta get this war over with. Our new candidates not even gonna be close to our current physician. So what happened to you? What happened to you? Oh, he did get a oh it's to 903 now. He's being extended, but if you look here, he's near death. Even with the penalty counter smallpox killing him. We don't have to feel guilty about this one. We didn't deny him any treatments. My son, if you live till March of 
Nile 3, I'll let you go to war. Die a, a death in the battlefield rather than on your deathbed. Okay, so he wants to fight him. Ho ho. Ho ho ho. Um, join the Northern Army Conquest of Duchy of Neustra as a defender. So they're getting invaded by the Viking army, I guess. I mean, combined strength-wise, we're actually pretty even. My only problem is we have a war at home that we have to fight in a year. Less than a year, half a year. Oh, well, that's pricey. We can accept and not go, but we run the risk of their army coming to us. Does he have other allies? Okay, okay, okay. I mean, that's good. That's good. Can you call on them as well? All right, we're going to accept. Now we have to study this war real quick. Where is the invading army? Are they coming from... Oh, they're, are they just a roaming one? Is this an event? Oh, they're just claiming it. It is just an event. How do we get our armies there safely? We have to sail. Are we really delaying our inheritance? I mean, our inheritance is super safe because now it seems like we're going to lose a son and only have one heir moving forward. So, so I guess we will depart and delay our war to take the rest. Okay, more, more allies are joining. That is not our max army, is it? Oh, it is, because it's plus eight knights. Let's go. We are setting sail. I don't see the enemy. That's the only problem. That's not his ally. It's a different war. Do we, like, what if we get caught first, which is what we don't want, right? Let's land there and figure things out from there. We'll give our son a chance to die in a war rather than die on his deathbed. I think that's the best we can do, although it probably takes a long time to get there. He has recovered our physicians and say he's still not doing well. I mean, I guess he lost smallpox, so it's going to do better. Wow. Miscalculation. But I don't have to feel bad about... I don't want to kill him. Not like that. We have other ways. But we're really losing our chance to win that. So he has taken care of all the bodies, and we're safe. What a physician. Alright, our daughter comes of age. Are they... Oh, he's too young. So she's going to wait till he comes of age to get married. She picked up Town Dollar from our trait bonus from Legacy. She's going to make a good wife for you, future King of England. All right, can we win? Oh, we see their army. We're gathering. We're here. We're here. Good timing. Uh, helping the French out before forming our own kingdom. Died from a seizure. Why are we stressing about someone who don't know who's possessed? Never met in our life since we left home. 
We have his son, though, so I guess it's fine. When can we work out again? November. Uh, right. The thing about him is he's shy. That's probably one of the worst traits we have here. He's not going to be very good diplomatically. He's not going to be very good with his court or his vassals. My hope is that he won't rule very long either and that we can basically pass it on. Oh, no, no, no. Doctor. If he dies, I swear. So he's proposing this, but we're stressing him out. That's okay. It's his stress, not mine. I mean... We'll worry about you later. Alright, how are we doing this, boys? We have more than enough men, let's corner them and take them out. I will not go first. Who's first? I'm only worried about this. We hit hostility before I finish the war. And then that becomes a problem. But we committed to this because we didn't want to lose fame. Clearing the land. He wants to reduce his levy. Well, he's not providing a lot of troops. Ooh. I like that. I actually like the... But there's not any more buildings to be built here. That's the only thing. We'll just take the development. There's no building to be built until we get more innovations, which is not happening anytime soon. Are they going to move? Because if they don't move, what are we doing here? Guys, follow me. Waiting for more reinforcements. Guys, I can't be the only one doing this. They are foreign faith, right? Like, we're not fighting... How do I check their army? Yes. Okay, so I can do the Holy Warrior move as well. We're fighting on the open fields here. We do need to reduce defensive advantage, I think. We're fighting in terrain that's not really great for us. I think we just go with this one. Plus 10. They're not coming yet. We're not going by ourselves. Come on. Guys, it's your land. And my time. Don't make me disband here. Alright, second army of Paris, do something. It's winter. Supply is going down. Oversupply. Okay, we'll step somewhere else. My truth is gone in another month. 
I mean, to be honest, if they're so hesitant, I'm going to recall the army. And we'll, we'll fight our own war back at home. Cutting it real close. We'll come back. I mean, they have technically 8,000 plus. They can fight them even. We're gone. And we can't even declare that war until August. That's okay. We're still gone. We shouldn't have even left. We should have just finished our war and then went to go help. Well, he's really beaten up. How many men can I raise here? Time to raise five months. They're technically not home yet. The war is not done. Well, they're winning that war now. What is going on? But we're jumping into that fight whenever our army's ready, which is soon. Wait, what happened? Wait, what happened? Do we convert them? Oh, yeah. Don't be so scary. It's every time you see this red line, I'm like... Alright, our faith conversion will be complete soon. And then we have to convert them, obviously, later on. Ooh. Excellent education, but didn't turn out so well. So they're sieging it. That's what we have to do. Oh! They... won. Congratulations. We sort of helped. We showed up. Right? It's like showing up to a party. We let them see us. We walk around, approach the enemy first, walk back, and then leave. I mean, it's severely delaying my progress. Victorious, we get... Do we get anything? Alright, so they lost a bunch of stuff. They gained a bunch of stuff. I don't think I get anything. Which is totally fine. Totally fine. We'll get the Kingdom of Portugal. August. August is here. Eight days. Let's do it. It's time to get our claim against the entire duchy. We'll make them our vassal. Now or never. I don't think we need any help, especially from him. He doesn't have a lot of armies. We'll just pass. He doesn't have much left. We don't need much to win this. Straight for the capital. These are non friendly armies, but they're not going to fight us. We're not at war with them. They just want this piece. All right. This is it. Once we get this, we get Portugal. Please don't hit a thousand before then. Alright, she's a master of three languages, just waiting for the husband to come of age. How is our grandson doing, by the way? I've not checked on him. So, our, our son is now solid till 908. He's not gonna die. Our doctor is insane. And I'm okay with that. We'll play as him. You know, we'll just have a single life. We'll outlast our brother. We'll make him die of old age as well. And then the natural heir is our little boy here. So he lives. Good doctor did something good finally. And in the future, we'll have him be a steward, I think. He'll manage our big kingdom. Or we go to war to end the Iberian struggle. He is bossy. 
maybe this is the way. I mean, it could go both ways. Both are good. Hmm. I still like stewardship. We don't have to be the one on the field. There's a good chance we might pick up Brave just because we have it and we're his guardian. But, um, well, it's a tie. It's a tie. Yeah, other peoples can fight the war for us, but we have to be the one managing our territories. So stewardship would be better. Spells up to test. Is she going to train our, our council? Ooh, our bishop. Or we, I mean, she's beyond the age to give us kids. How many years of bonus can we get from him? 15 years? Is he going to live 15 years? He's 55. He's 46. She's 49, but she's very high. Maybe we want the bishop's learning to improve a little bit to help us convert faith a little faster. Chancellor, improve relationship. Yeah, we're going to help the bishop out. Give him a bit more learning. Looks like that control is going to be fixed. I actually think we should just swap. Let this finish by itself because we got that passive going. Ninety. Oh, okay, that one needs it more. Let's go to Coimba. Seven month siege. You're not that stressed, but this actually works out, I think, exactly 24. Sometimes 30. Let's let's keep this hanging for a bit. Oh, they got a new ally. Ooh. Slightly tricky because I think he's in here. 1,620. If they clash over, it just depends on if the other faction might come or not. I doubt it because they're in an active war with them. Right, so if we're only fighting 1,700 plus... Or 1,600? Plus this 500? I think we're fine. We might have to change commanders real quick. Probably should have had the siege guy up for, for this point, but there's there might be a fight coming, so we've got to be careful there. So he's backing off. He's growing a little bit in size, but he's counterattacking, basically. So he joins. Oh, he joins... Wait, why, why would he join... Oh, he's trying this is this claim is the war's name right so i think he's gonna be slower here 11 month yep we're fine four month three month left is his leader in this army oh he's just leaving he's also leaving what kind of decision is that I mean, it's kind of weird because they're kind of together. All right, do we have enough? We don't have enough. We caught two of his guests, so they're not going to contribute anything towards the war score. I should go hunt down this army, basically. That's what will give it to me, unless I want to just siege this, which will give me a little bit more money. But this is probably faster if I come take him out. He's probably in that army. So if you guys are guests, Oh, what a good trait. You're coming with us. You guys are just random people, aren't you? Well, you're coming with us. We're going to get a hook on you, and you're going to convert. Sounds like a plan. I don't think... Yep, 
they're not doing much for you. You're gonna you're definitely coming with us. Recruit hook conversion. She is gonna be quite the catch. All right, the boy we might be able to use in marriage very soon. I think he's not of age yet, but should be, there we go. Should be of age soon. He's got options. Well, let's pause the war. Ooh, that's a good trade to pick up into our faction. We'll grab her. She's a backup spy master material. I don't know if we'll catch. Oh, they're. I don't need to fight them. I just need to catch them. Wait, wait, wait. Did we catch them? Or did we get into another fight? We'll take a look later. Yeah, we caught them. We caught them. It's going to be over. That's their leader. Let's capture him. Oh, so many things going on. Nope. We didn't catch him. Okay. Alright, going back. I don't think we'll be fighting him when we cross over there. At least I don't think so. Ooh. Again? She does make rivals. Our court tutor. What did she do to you? We can use her for a marriage bait as well. Hold on. Definitely no kids will come of this, so... Unless we can get a young man. Very young. Yeah, pretty decent. That way, when she dies, we can keep the guy. Alright, she's disrupting, so she's doing her job. He's on the move again. I want to go catch him. He's running. Wait, wait, wait. Are we actually fighting everyone? We're actually fighting everyone. So I didn't think we would be fighting them, but now we are, so this is bad. Looks like we might... I mean, this is not a reflection of what happens when we get them in as well. We do have a huge swing. He's a terrible commander. But, as you can see, our numbers dwindle. Hmm... Yeah, that maneuver was not great. I think we might splurge and pick up... Uh, we could either pick up an ally, use some prestige, or use some money and pick up enough mercenaries to deal with this. We can go for some expensive ones. The treasures. Treasures? 2,000 men. Wow. Or 486. We can definitely afford it. How many people are we actually at war with? 
right? See, that's what I thought. How did we fight these two? I know he joined, but what about him? I thought he was going to stay out of it. All right, we got to retreat first. Once we recover, we'll get some mercenaries, maybe. Um, yeah, we set this up. Please do. Going for Lisboa. We're going to use our cash. Are they... I don't... Okay, I see the number now. Alright, let's group them together. We'll clear this bow and we'll go take that as well. Merge. Investment in Coimbra. What does she want to do? Business, holding tax growth, development growth, control increase but lose money. Um, development's growing anyways, it's just control. And control we can beat. Development's really good, let's do it. Alright, and we got the good outcome as well. I mean, control is fixed already. Ooh, does that mean I can control? Oh, I guess I can't because I'm getting fights here. Then train commanders for now. Looks like our control is all good everywhere because the passive. All right, we got those mercenaries. Like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Our vassal. He's an agent. Hmm, let's throw them in jail, expose them. I mean, he's ready. Not in favor of me. We'll keep a couple of these vassals in jail in case we need to uh, chop some heads off after then. He's willing to pay for it. No, 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 you're, you're staying in jail. Oh, we're getting super close. Can we win this war, please? Alright, we smashed them, but we didn't gain much of the points here, as we have to smash them as well. Oh, we caught someone. Is he relevant to the war score? No. Is he remotely useful? No, he has a little bit of money on him. I will just take that. Oh, big face off. But I think we have... Oh, we caught them first. Okay. Can we just capture their liege? I think their liege is in this army. Hold on. Pause, 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 pause. They're headed over as well. Can we beat them here? Or should we just siege this? They retook it. Okay, they won their war, so they're out. Hold on. Now we fight our war. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's basically what we needed to happen. Because there were between two wars that's both struggling here. We don't have much time. I mean, this siege is going to be quicker. Only about two months. What? A peasant uprising? Okay. I mean, we finish our thing. Uh, another year has passed. All 
Alright, Siege one. Got another one, the guest. A little old. Is he willing to ransom you? For a favor. You stay in jail for a while. So you are a mercenary army? No. The vassal's army. Right. They're allies. I mean, we can smash them too, if it helps the war. Nice to meet you. Oh, he's actually decent. High learning. Alright. I mean, that's the army with their leader. He's just running around, not letting us capture him. I mean, the only thing we can do is try to take more land. If he comes back, we can maybe hit him. Takes a second to catch his breath, his forehead wet with sweat. The ladies of Lisboa have taken arms to defend the city themselves. So, I wish all my subjects were ready to defend. Our bishop doesn't like that. Females. He currently really loves me. I don't need that bonus. I also don't need his opinion, so... He can be angry with me. Is he also trying to retake this? Who are you? Who are these people? Oh, he's actually an ally. Okay, that's faster than fighting allies, faster than fighting sieges. Let's just kill them. Hasn't gone up that much. Okay, if we crush this army of this size with them coming in, which is good. Come in, please. Come on. Yeah, pull that sword out. Come in before they die. There we go. There we go. Crush that. That's it, right? 100%? 82? We didn't catch a single useful target. Okay, at least he has some cash on him. Potentially useful. Hmm. He's landed. Right. Then we'll just take the money from you. Who else is rotting our prison? Oh, another mayor. This is this is um This is a guy who is No no. Who is the guy who's trying to kill my wife? This guy, right, the guy who has money. Wait, who are you? No, he's the guy who's killing my wife, I think. We lost track of the names. Okay, I'm pretty sure the guy who was trying to kill us, or kill our wife, no, he was just captured. Oh, he's really rich. How can I get all of that money? So we recruit him, get a hook on him, and then use the hook to get the money. How is he so rich? He's going to fight us again? Can we capture him this time? Can I cash out on this hook? Because he's pretty loaded. Only 10? Oh, we caught him! We finally got our guy. Does that mean we can make Portugal right now? He's only going to pay us 10? Any way I can get all that money if I banish him? I don't know if I get all their cash, nor do I think it's worth getting 190 given our economy. But um, curious, he's not really useful as a character. I guess high diplomacy. Okay, hold on. Let me just 
I have a hook on him, but it's only 10, because he's not that important. If I make him more important, then maybe... Mm, give or take. Alright, anyways, we have more important things to do. We're on the cusp here. We're gonna press it. Enforce this demand. We got ourselves 100 fame. We pushed it up a little higher. We're gonna disband the army. They have become our vassal, right? Because we are a duke still, we picked up a couple of counts. Two in particular. This is not ours because they took it, but we have three piece of the four, which is enough. And plus we have the title. We, we got a claim on it before. So we have the Duchy of Beja, I guess, or Baia before, but Beja now in our tongue. We're ready to go. We have 300. Form Portugal. Did our son do anything, by the way? No. Still still useless. We did it. We did it. So we'll be picking up a bunch of stuff. Uh, prestige. We'll be forming the Kingdom of Portugal. We'll become the King of Portugal. And I think because we're the same level as our liege at that point, we'll become independent from this. It'll become our primary title. Unfortunately, we're going to become the Vithagoth, which... Sure, I mean, if the game's slightly bugged, what can we do about it? We'll pick up all our current innovations. I don't know if we'll keep our innovation level or will it reset. We'll get a random free military one, random free civic one. Every single um, subject in our realm will automatically convert to our culture, which I think is actually really good. Let's do it. And we now have a royal court. As king, you have new duties and responsibilities. You will now be expected to regularly hold court, solving the dispute of the realm, letting your courtier take part in your daily routine. Nino is looking sternly at me in a direct, almost lecturing way. Perhaps there is also some surprise in his eyes. He starts to unfold a beautiful banner bearing the album, uh, emblem of House Menendez. One of the way in which the world will now judge your rule is by how you adorn and care for your royal court. I've taken the liberty to have this made as a gift to mark the beginning of your royal tenure. Let them see the new king. Let's check out our court. Ah, look at us, smug. The day will forever be remembered as the dawn of the great kingdom of Portugal. Our people have suffered under Muslim rule for centuries. Not really, we ended it pretty quickly. But no more. Finally, through glorious conquest in the name of St. George, we are a free Catholic nation. Over the millennia, many civilizations have ruled over these lands. They have all contributed to the complex web that is our cultural heritage. Today, we have our own unique identity. And as I form this kingdom, we proudly call ourselves Portuguese. And unfortunately, we become Visigoth. Uh, just a bit unfortunate. We gain the title of the Great. And yeah, the only thing that's really immersion breaking here is we got the table code wrong and uh, instead of picking up Portuguese as a culture, we are Visigoth. <laughs> that's our court. That is us. That is our queen. That is our knight. Okay. That is our son. Can I zoom in here? How do we use this setting? Photo mode should probably let us zoom, right? Right? Ah, uh, they have preset angles. Okay. Uh, that's good enough. Happy family. Our marshal here. I don't trust him. He's the new guy. Where's our Where's our friend? Our grandson. Oh, this is he's five now. He's grown up in the court. He's witnessed firsthand. Okay, so we're supposed to hold court here. We have court artifact. Shouldn't we have a banner, right? Yep. So we have a health banner. We have a dynasty banner. What's the requirements? This one's a little bit vassal limit. Independent ruler opinion. Renown. 
This feels a lot better. But can we put another one? Yeah, there's there's no there's no reason why we can't put both. Yeah, now now we don't have a space for that. We don't have anything here. Oh, so many little things. We have to now spend money on this court. Um, can I exit this screen without holding court, or do we have to do it now? I guess we can always go back to court somehow. Oh, it's the bottom button here. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, I did not play this DLC before, so I actually don't know exactly what to do with this court. All right, we can have the court. Let's have this lesson uh, next time. We'll, we'll keep this off to the side. We have too many duchy titles. Right, because we're now king. So we have to give them away. I mean, our sons need titles. We have new knight positions. All right, missing a bit of land here, but technically having a bit of extra land up here. Not bad, not bad. All right, there's still lots to do. Uh, there's the court mechanic, which we have not done before. Royal court, check that out. There's now a bunch of new things. A bunch of new things. What do we have to do here? Ten members to have to be independent ruler. Well, we're actually doing a decent job of that. Okay, not much else, but of course the main thing is ending the struggle. That's really the main part of... See, this is the problem. This is the big problem. I don't think we can do this because... Do we have to be Portuguese? We don't have to be Portuguese. Okay, who? I mean, it says Portuguese dominant, so I assume. I assume we have to do it that way. Maybe this is what we go for. Lots to do. Lots to do. Uh, but anyhow, we probably also have to move our Detroit capital. At least I want to move it to Lisboa just to make things correct. Uh, the problem being doesn't have any unique buildings but um, as long as we directly hold them it's going to be fine which innovations did we get for free by the way public works okay so now we can develop 20 what's our military one yeah we don't get this anymore because Vitagos don't have this which kind of sucks because I'm pretty sure Portuguese have this I forgot which one we didn't have. Maybe we didn't have coated armor because we couldn't get armor footmen. So we got this one for free. We're still working towards upgrading our crown authority. But I believe because I think there's something with one of, yeah, there's different succession law we can use because we have with the Gothic code, which we'll explore next time as well. This is the same. We had the best friend. We'll ritualize friendship from before. Hit and run tactic. Retreat loss minus 10%. Friendly casualties. Advantage goes down by two, though. Light cavalry is favored. Skirmishers are favored. Siege weapons are not favored. Not a fan of this. Martial education is now valued more. Blade master has extra bonuses. Craven and content are looked down upon. Knights are more prone to injury. May challenge rivals to single combat, inflicting stress if you win. Ah, so we win, we give them stress. Okay, injury resistance plus five, number of knights plus two.
don't care about different faith. They will often learn the language of their liege. All right, we only have five slots, so if we want to get something else, we have to basically convert something. It's very costly. <laughs> wait, 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 did I see... Neo, oh, we're naming it ourselves. We can't, we can't pick up Portuguese if we want to, or can we? Yeah, I, I, I don't think we can convert to a set one. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate that this is bugged out, but uh, we'll live with it. Anyhow, we'll end the episode here. We achieved our primary goal, and I think the session now will look a little bit clearer because then he will just become our vassal at that point, or... Yeah, I think so. And I guess we don't have a liege now, we're just independent, yeah. So the world map will now have us instead of being part of them. Not so bad. 905. Did it in one generation, and it looks like maybe easy pickings going forward. They're going down first. Yeah, we're gonna start cleaning them up. Hostility is next, so I think there's gonna be a lot of war bonuses, and we'll see what we can do with it. But we'll probably have a lesson in Royal Court next time we come back. So until then, bye!